Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the emulsion tube from a Tecumseh carburetor. What I have here is a carburetor from a lawnmower, but the same principle will apply to many other Tecumseh engines. First, what you want to do is remove the intake manifold, the air filter assembly from the carburetor. It's going to make it much easier to remove the emulsion tube. And the next thing I'm going to do is remove the carburetor bowl. And I'm going to remove the float as well and the O-ring over here. And to remove the float, just remove the pin over here. And now the float and the needle will come out. The first thing I'm going to do is show you where the emulsion tube is. It's right in the center over here. You can see it down inside and it's usually made of plastic. Some snowblower carburetors do not have an emulsion tube made of plastic. It's a stationary brass tube so you cannot remove it. And if you look inside the carburetor, you can see the emulsion tube protruding out from the inside over here. So to get the emulsion tube out of the carburetor, what I do is I grab a slotted screwdriver like this, I reach down inside, put it straight on top, just like this, and then I push down. You're going to see the emulsion tube go down a little bit. And now you can see that when I push down the emulsion tube, it wants to come back up on its own. That's because of the O-rings on the tube. They're causing it to want to come back up like this. For the next part, I'm going to use my Tecumseh carburetor tool, which is part number 670377. You can also use a crochet hook if you do not have this tool. And now what I'm going to do is insert the part here with the small hook right down inside the tube. I didn't go too far, but I'm trying to get it up without damaging the tube. And there we go. Sometimes the tube is in there a lot tighter, and you do have to go way down and put pressure and sometimes you end up sacrificing the tube. This part here is not made to be reused all the time so if you don't damage it you can reuse it but if you damage it don't worry it's only a few dollars to replace. Now as you notice there's one o-ring on the tube there's supposed to be two there's usually another one down here so you can go down with your crochet hook or your carburetor tool and just go retrieve that other o-ring. Usually it's stuck way at the bottom And there it is. And this is where that O-ring goes, just like this. Now after you have the emulsion tube out of the carburetor, examine it for cracks. I do recommend, however, that even if it does not look cracked, to replace it. If you do reuse it, make absolutely sure that there are no cracks whatsoever in this tube. And you also want to make sure that it's clean. This one is super clean. And you also want to make sure that the O-rings are not damaged. Usually you remove the emulsion tube to replace the O-rings. They get all damaged, cracked, and they don't do a perfect seal down in the carburetor, so you have to replace them. Now here I have a variety of different emulsion tubes for Tecumseh carburetors. As you can see, they come in all different sizes, shapes, and colors. So it's easy to identify the tube that you need to replace. I don't have a clear one like this one here, but you can see that it is different, for example, from this blue one. The inside diameter is much bigger on this one. It's very important that you use the correct emulsion tube when replacing it. And another quick tip is if you need to replace the O-rings on the tube, it's part number 632547 from Tecumseh. You just basically take them off like this and then reinsert new ones on there. When you buy a new emulsion tube, it will not come with the O-rings. Now that I've showed you how to remove the emulsion tube, I'm going to show you how to put it back in the carburetor properly. What I use to reinstall the emulsion tube is my Tecumseh carburetor again. If you do not have this tool, you could use a small drift punch. You could also use a drill bit by using the back end of the bit that is the same size as this, which would end up being an 11 64th drill bit like this. It's pretty well the same size as the end of the Tecumseh tool, and you would use the back end of the bit as I mentioned just like this. Do not use this end of the bit to push it in. Now I'm going to grab my carburetor, insert the emulsion tube this way inside. Now I'm going to put the Tecumseh carburetor tool right in it and push. I'm going to look inside the carburetor to see the emulsion tube protrude. It's got to come out a little ways. And this is good. Don't worry if it does come back a bit because when you put the bowl back on and the carburetor bowl nut, it will push up the emulsion tube a little bit up to where it should be. 
So that's all there is to replacing the emulsion tube in your Tecumseh carburetor. Remember that some carburetors, the emulsion tube will not come out, so it's permanent. On most Tecumseh carburetors with a plastic emulsion tube, it will be replaceable. But remember, if you damage it at all, even in the slightest bit, just replace it with a new one. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.